We are currently standing in front of the general store that was owned by the family that Loretta Lynn was, was born into. It's called Webb's Grocery, currently owned and operated by Herman Webb since 1976. No, it's okay. I'm good. I'm getting wet. I've been wet before. <laughs> I appreciate it, little guy. Because uh, if it gets congested, you'll have a hard time getting back off. I don't know, it could happen any day. See, there's the horses, they've got enough sense to get in and out of the ring. I guess that's a donkey.
touring Loretta Lynn's house was very interesting. I didn't realize that there were so many of the country music people that were related to Loretta Lynn. Patty Loveless was a distant cousin. And a lot of the uh, big names in country music at that time came and visited the house in Butcher Holly, found out at, about it mostly as, as a lot of us do, just by coming down in the area. Very interesting visit. and her baby sister Crystal Gale lived here until she was four years old. And then the family moved to Wabash, Indiana for work. But in this house, about 80% of the furnishings are all original from when they grew up here. This old swing back here is a swing that they had out on the front porch. And the picture in the middle, that's their mommy and daddy sitting in that swing, Ted and Clary Webb. And then this is a picture of Loretta and her mommy, and it was made at the premiere of Coal Miner's Daughter. They had two premieres here on here uh, on the East Coast. They had one in Nashville and one in Louisville, Kentucky. And Loretta took all her brothers and sisters and nieces and nephews to those. Like I said, I'm her niece, Connie. So we got to go get out of limos and rub elbows with the movie stars for a couple of nights. Now, has everybody here seen the movie Coal Miner's Daughter? Mm -hmm. Well, you need to watch it after you take this tour. But in the movie Coal Miner's Daughter, Loretta tells Do the only place you can catch Mommy and Daddy together is in the bed. Well, this was their bedroom suit. So this is where they finally caught them together to ask if they could get married. They didn't have to finally said, Do sit on the couch and wait till they go to bed tonight, because that's the only place you can catch them together at. But now this old wooden radio here, that's what they listened to the Grand Ole Opry on. Back in those days, they had no electricity in this holler, and that was battery packed. Dad said they could only listen to certain programs because the batteries were so expensive that they had to conserve them. Yeah, back in those days, too, the road you guys came up on, that wasn't a road back then. That was just a walking path. And if you had anything to drive, people drove through the creek. So you might remember in the movie, they tell Do he'll never get that Jeep back in this holler to visit Loretta. Well, that was the reason why he had to drive through the creek to get back here. Now these pictures right here, they're pictures of their grandparents. This is their great grandma and grandpa Butcher. The Butcher family is who this holler's named after, Butcher Holler. And then this is their great grandma and grandpa Webb. Webb is Loretta and Crystal's maiden. But that's where a lot of the Indian comes from. She, she was full-blooded Cherokee Indian. Their mommy's dad up here in the middle, that's their grandpa, Raymond. And that's the side of the family we're kin to Patty Loveless on. Patty Loveless is a cat. And she's from Elkhorn City in Pike County, Kentucky which is just south of here on our US 23 Country Music Highway. Uh, this is a picture of Loretta with her very first band, the little lead guitar picker in that picture. That was her brother, Jay Lee, and he was the first feller to get her up on stage and get her to sing. And then over on this side, we've got a picture of Loretta with Taxi Klein and Cowboy Topus. Uh, the dress Loretta has on in that picture, her good friend Taxi Klein gave her. And then above that, that's Loretta as a teenager in this holler. She's in the middle there with the bright red lipstick on. But now in here's their kitchen. When we walk in here, watch your step that steps up. Mm. Said their cousins lived next door and they had 13 kids. And he said, when we were at their house, they let her off. So. <clears throat> well, now this was their original coal and wood burning stove. And then this was something my grandma would have never allowed in this house, but somebody gave it to my dad. It's part of a moonshine still. 
And then this picture here, the feller with the fancy hat on, some of you all might remember him from the movie Coal Miner's Daughter. His name was Lee Dollarhide. He was the moonshiner that got shot and killed in the head of the holler, uh, stealing the boys from Greasy Creek's moonshine. Well, that really happened, and this is a real picture of him with one of his moonshine stills. The line that he was famous for in the movie was it's coal mine, moonshine, or move it on down the line. <laughs> but now this is the type of lunch bucket and hat and carbide light my grandpa would have carried in the coal mines. And this was my grandma's original pie safe, her original Hoosier cabinet. The calendar back here on the wall, that's Loretta Lynn calendar from 1966. And that's her twins, Patsy and Peggy. Patsy was named after her mentor, Patsy Klein, and Peggy was named after her sister, Peggy Sue. And here's where they all ate at. Now this was their kitchen table. Back when they were growing up, they kept all the leaves in it. Dad said it pretty well filled up this whole room and all eight kids could sit around the table. He said Grandpa had bought this table second-handed and when they bought it, it came with a great big old buffet and the buffet was too big to get in the house. So they cut it up and made the mantles out of it around the fireplaces. Now my grandma did wash their clothes on a washboard every day, but when she finally got a Maytag, that was it. And when they first got that, they had no electricity uh, in this house. That was gas powered. So they kept it on the back porch and you had to kick start it like a motorcycle. They didn't get any electricity in this holler until the late 1940s. And then when they did, the boys put an electric engine on that. And Grandma got to bring it indoors and have the convenience of an indoor washing machine. I said, I don't know how convenient that was because she had no running water. So she still had to pack water in and pack water out. And now these old chairs right here, I've got four of them. My dad said a feller across the hill would hand make these. He'd sell them for $2.25 a chair. And if you wanted the rocker, the rocker was three something chairs. <laughs> Dad said that was a whole lot of money back then, but they were good furniture and they were well worth the investment. Down in here is the front room. Now upstairs in this house, there's two bedrooms and they run the full length of the house. The boys slept in one and the girls slept in the other. And the upstairs is wallpapered with the old newspapers. And I remember my grandma telling me how she got Loretta's name. She said when she was pregnant with her, they lived in a two-room shack in the head of the parlor. And she said on the ceiling there was a newspaper article and picture of the actress Loretta Young. And she thought that was the most beautiful woman she'd ever seen in her life. So she decided her firstborn girl she'd name Loretta. So Loretta was the firstborn girl in the family. Now the pictures on each side of the lamp are my grandparents, Ted and Clary Webb. The baby in both pictures is Crystal Gale. That first picture there, that little tree they're standing in front of, that's the big holly bush tree that's growing beside the house. My grandma planted that tree. And then that's Loretta's twins today, Patsy and Peggy. Patsy, the one with the slacks on, she manages Loretta and managed her businesses. Uh, Peggy, the one with the guitar, she runs an organic farm in Goodlettsville, Tennessee. It's called Madison Creek Farms. So if you guys get down to the family reunion here at this house, this was all the brothers and sisters living at that time. And then that's Loretta, Crystal, on my dad, and that's Crystal's hair going around my dad's shoulder. And then this is a print of a painting that Ronnie McDowell did. A lot of people don't realize that besides singing, Ronnie's a wonderful artist. 
she came up here early one Sunday morning and went through the house taking pictures. And he told Daddy, he said, I'm going to do a painting for Loretta. Well, this is a print of it, and it's called Reflections of a Coal Miner's Daughter. And that's Loretta as a little girl looking into the mantel and seeing her reflection as a country music star. I just thought he did such a wonderful job with that. Uh, and then this is Loretta's obituary from her funeral this past October. And then right over here is a picture of Crystal when she first started singing. And she was about 15 years old in this picture. And my dad and my uncle Don had this band in Wabash, Indiana, and they would play behind her on the weekend. But if you notice this picture, it says Star of the Indiana Jubilee, Brenda Webb. Well, her given name was Brenda Gale. And when she signed her first recording contract, the record label said, you have to change your name. We've got Brenda Lee on our label and we don't want two Brendas. Well, she was all upset and her and Loretta were driving around Nashville and she said, Loretta, I don't know how to rename myself. Well, they passed a crystal fast food restaurant and Loretta said, Brenda, you like those tiny crystal burgers? And she said, she said, well, yeah. Loretta said, well, then I've got a pretty name for you. We're going to call you Crystal Gale. So that's how she got her stage name. Loretta named her after a fast food restaurant. And in 2005, the city of Paintsville, Kentucky, gave the Webb family the key to the city. So if you guys happen to get over in Paintsville and get locked up, give me a call. I've got a, I've got a key to the fight. Well, we've got our guest book here. I asked people to sign that instead of our walls. Uh, did everybody stop at our store on your way up the road? In, in the store, the two dresses there, the blue one in the back, Loretta actually handmade that.